A big part about having a business is looking at the numbers and a lot of people who use Depop don't know how to view their own Depop stats. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can view your Depop stats and what it has to offer. So a common mistake that people make when they're trying to find their Depop stats is trying to find it in the mobile app. And as of now, Depop doesn't actually offer the feature to look at your stats through their app. So you're going to have to log into a web browser like Safari or Google and log into your Depop account from there. So on your mobile device, once you've logged into your Depop on a web browser, you're going to want to click the three lines in the top left hand corner. From there, it's going to give a Dropbox with multiple options, but you're going to want to click the Your Selling Hub. Then from there, scroll down and you'll see Weekly Stats and click See All. When you're on your computer, you're going to go to the top right hand corner where your profile picture is. Click it, you'll see the drop down menu, same idea, you're going to go to Your Selling Hub. But then on the left side, you'll have all of these options and near the bottom, it'll say Stats. So now that you're in your Depop stats, here's all the features that it actually has to offer. So once you're in stats, there's quite a few features that it has to offer and I wanna cover every single one of them. So this top row graph is gonna be your revenue graph and you can view this from seven days all the way up into six months. It also has a percentage comparing it with the previous seven days, so on so forth, all the way up into six months. So here I'm up 3% versus my previous six months. Along with that, there's also this toggle button down near the bottom that compares it with the six months, but it draws this small dotted blue line across the graph. And when you hover over it, it can show you a comparison. So this one um, shows a percentage as well as April 2024, I made 1,487 in October 2023, I made 2,286. Um, same thing with seven days, same idea, get the line and that percentage with the two dates uh, in comparison. Scrolling down, you have items sold section. So this is kind of the exact same thing just for items sold, but it's a bar graph. Um, it'll have seven days to six months, as well as that percentage comparing it with the previous six months. And you're able to do the same thing with the toggle. Um, it draws that dotted line when you hover over it, same idea, gives you that percent, percent and the two dates of comparison. Um, so here, uh, April 2024, I did 59 items that month, and October 2023, I did 69 items that month. Um, back towards the top, you can also view these graphs as tables, and by doing this it puts um, the comparison. So this is my current seven days, and this is my past seven days. Same thing with six months and all the rest. So this is my current six months and this is my past six months as well as a percentage change. Same thing with the bottom, same idea, gives you your items sold in comparison with whichever the, uh, page that you're in. Um, the last part about this is download sales. This is something that I don't really utilize just because I don't keep a large tracking with it. Um, at the end of the year when I get my, um, for my tax forms, it has all of my months and how much I made. So I really don't ever download my sales, but if you do, you can download them and save them that way. So that is a full overview of how to view your Depop stats and all of its features. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment if you have any questions for me, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.